All right, everybody. So we're back. Sample late. So I'm just going to mute this here. Um, turn this down. We're going to go grab that Rex file, drop it into a NNXT. Um, you can put it in an NN19 or Kong or, you know, whatever you choose. This is just my favorite unit. Um, probably my favorite device on reason. Don't ask why, but under pretty much everything, I always put an RE2 way. I just like the sound of this uh, compressor and um, I'm going to reset the device, pull up the Rex file that we left on the desktop. All right. So now I've got my sample loaded um, and it's laid across, you know, all of my keys. So every shop that I have now represents um, a key there. I'm going to label this here. <clears throat> All right. And so what you want to do now is just verify that, you know, your samples are what they were when you left recycle. Um, so let me kind of go through a couple of these to make sure we're. Yeah, so these sound exactly the way we chopped. The only problem is right now, what you'll notice is that they aren't playing fully and they're also not cutting each other off. So you guys that are coming from the NPC world, uh, the equivalency of, um, I don't know if it's pad muting, but would you want your samples to cut the new sample off? Um, you need to take that polyphony down to one and then they get your sample to play all the way through the way you let it go um, is you take the release up on each one. So we'll do that in one fell swoop here. Um, and so now what you have is your polyphony is set to one on the entire unit. All of your samples release times are all the way up. And so the sample will play all the way through, but then the next sample that you hit will then cut it off. And so this is how you can, you know, essentially create your chops um, and find your pattern. So what I will do is go through this and I'm just listening to every chop on here, trying to find something kind of like what I was doing when we were chopping. Remember, I told you I probably would use that. I'm definitely going to use that, so. Alright, I like these right here. So, you know, again, just something to get you uh, an idea, you know. I'm not looking to build a full song right now. I just need some inspiration, so. I think I'm going to run with this. Matter of fact, let's actually, let's go lay this down here. Alright. So I'm going to turn this click on. Let's practice this for a minute. ready to go. I'm going to leave the quantize on on this. I'll show you what we'll do. And that's really all I need right there. Just something to get me started before by loop. And I think we're rolling. So samples ran through the NPC. Uh, what I want to do at this point, give it a little swing. Why not give it a little NPC feel? And reason comes with uh, some great templates. So what I like to do is um, basically let it loop. But while it's looping, I'm gonna go through some of the groove patches. And my favorite one to use is probably 55, 53, somewhere in there. Percent swing on an NPC 60 template. Give you guys an idea of kind of how it affects it. So I'm looking for a little more lazy feel on this one. Put it kind of behind the, the, the one. To give you an extreme. If you put it in front of it, it won't even play. So the shuffle works great. I usually turn that down just a little bit. And I'll have some of my drums do the same. So I've got these preloaded drums, my kick drum here. So I've got these ahead of time. Sound of that, so let's go ahead and lay that down. Alright, go ahead and put the 
that's on the same swing setting. I've loaded a tambourine that sounds good with this. I'm just trying to get an idea. I like that snare there. Yeah. So again, you can see how quickly ideas can be built. Sample chop. Some drums already loaded up in the template. We rocking and rolling. See, it's only 4.35. We've only been at this beat for a few minutes. Quantize on this is a little stiff. I'll probably take that off. Yeah, a little too stiff. I'm gonna delete that. Let me turn this off. We'll just play this on freehand. I'm mixing as I go along. Um, that's how I work on my tracks. I don't try to build the entire track and then mix. I'm mixing as I go along, getting the sound that I want, getting it close to where I want it. That way it keeps my sound, uh, you know, like what I heard when I was originally with the idea. You don't have to, I don't want to like to, you know, go back and revisit stuff um, and get it to sound the way I really wanted it to sound. Why not just take care of that in, in the beginning? So I'm gonna put this hi hat in there. Um, the snare, I like the way the snare sounds as well. I'm gonna let that hi hat and that tambourine play off of each other, and then we'll add that snare. I'm gonna cut some of the low end out of that. Now we got a little swing going. Still no quantize on this. down this uh the snare drum here yeah. i will quantize the snare i'm gonna keep this on the same track actually you know what hold on Same swing setting, but the quantize is on on that, so. Alright, just turn the sample off. Make sure everything is swinging. So, what I like to do is, you know, kind of in my head. With the hi-hat and the tambourine, I kind of imagine two kids on the swing set still swinging at the same time, but they're going in opposite directions. So that's kind of the feel I'm looking for here. I got some claps. Just kind of throwing some ideas around. I'll probably put this on. Probably would just only add that on that last snare. Just like how that sounds. Just a little accent hit with some reverb on it. Again, I'll be releasing these templates for you guys if you guys want to work off some of these things. Um, I got some of this stuff optimized for my workflow. Just works for me. Make it easy on yourself. All right, let's just put this on this last snare. All right. Sample back. All 
Alright, 439 p.m. You know, take 30 minutes, get your track, sampled, chop, ran through the NPC, whole nine. Everything is ready to rock and roll. So again, this is M Simp signing off for reasonaworkcom Again, you guys subscribe, tell a friend. Um, we'll be having more and more tutorials, more and more videos. Uh, great stuff on the way. And I uh, appreciate you guys rocking with us. As always, let's learn together. Go out there and make some great music. Thank you.